The factional national chairman of the Labour Party, Lamidia Papa, was mobbed at the Court of Appeal in Abuja yesterday, the venue of the presidential election petition court. PEPC. Now, the embattled national chairman of the Labour Party, Lamidia Papa, said the presidential candidates of the party, Peter Obi, and the party's suspended national chairman, Julius Abure, allegedly sponsored thugs against him at the Court of Appeal in Abuja, venue for the presidential election petition court. A Papa, while addressing newsmen shortly after he was released from protective custody by security operatives, said he was in court to assert himself as the acting national chairman of the party. And to confirm the state of things on the petition, the candidate of the party, Mr. Peter B, filed to challenge the outcome of the 2023 presidential election. Joining us to discuss this is Honorable Funke Awolowo. She's the deputy chairperson, Lagos State Exco's Labour Party. Party. Thank you so much for joining us. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Great. Um, we're, just in, uh, we're hearing that um, Abure has returned as your party chairman. That's right. Um, he has been released um, and he has got um, a full comeback into the Labour Party National as a chairperson. You know, as you well know, you know, our papa did not go through um, due process. There are processes involved, and you cannot just dream it or just come to the office and hijack somebody's position. In the Labour Party, we have a constitution, and that has to be adhered to. It, you know, and so he has been reinstated as expected into his role. Milos Sabure is now back, fully back, as national chairman of the Labour Party. Nigeria. This is not the first time that the Labour Party is having problems about who's the true leader or who's um, a factional leader. This had happened even before uh, Mr. Peter Obi emerged as the presidential flag bearer for the Labour Party. As much as um, the Labour Party seems to be in court right now trying to, in the words of Mr. Peter Obi, defend its mandate, I'm wondering uh, why has this issue of leadership not been put to bed early enough as opposed to now, and seeing what played out in court yesterday, uh, does this not one way or the other show that the party is not together? Well, the party is very much together. But you see, because of this new reign of the party, as uh, Peter Obi is now a presidential candidate, the crime has changed. And what you see in situations like that is that people want to hijack, people want to take advantage, and therefore you find that kind of intrusion but the real party, the real people, the Labour Party, the obedience, we're all together. We know what we are chatting and we're going in the right way. But you see that people always in a the party, there are most people who have been received cash, who want um, some nothing for doing nothing, you know, because we labor, we work. We know that all we need to do is come together as a party and work things out. But there are people who have received money and all they want to do is destroy it. That happens at every party. That's why you see that there's always cross capital in APC to PDP. So, you know, those are problems. Uh, are you still there? Uh, Ms. Awolowo, can you hear me? Um, I think that we have a little disconnection issue there with um, our guest. We're going to try to bring her back. Uh, I'll try it one more time. Miss Awolowo, can you hear me? Okay, we'll be back right after this break. We'll get, to, get her back. Welcome back. It's still Plus Politics. Apologies for that. We had a little connection problem with our guest, Funke Awolowo, who's the deputy chairperson of Lagos State Exco for the Labour Party. Um, Mr. Awolowo, before we went on that break, you were trying to explain to us how, um, you know, there are people who are trying to break, break down the party or be, uh, see themselves as important in the party. Oh, I think that we've lost her, that connection again with Ms. Awolowo. Uh, unfortunately, we'll have to wrap up this conversation here because our guest is having some difficulty uh, connecting with us. But that's the show tonight. We want to apologize on behalf of our guest. My name is Mary Anna Kun. Have a good evening.